Hi again, it's Mr. Hem here. In this video, I'd like to set up the GDI uh, graphics and I want to set up double buffering. And I, I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about that soon. And then um, after we've kind of got that working, we, we want to kind of set up a game loop where we've got our, you know, games having its refresh rate where we, um, you know, it's, it's, it's doing its um, thing with the frames per second, right? And also, I want to set up the flow of our project, kind of like, you know, game load, game update, and game draw. We want to kind of isolate these particular responsibility in these in in, in each each of their um, sections. All right. So um, I guess I can uh, go through what dub double buffering is before I actually set it up. But look, the idea is pretty pretty straightforward. Um, it's think of it as um, you know your the the, the way we kind of um, um, in, increase the performance of our of our drawing uh, of our computer drawing right so think of it as you know as, as simple as this so let me go to draw and let me just draw like a like an image this is kind of an image maybe this is kind of the the person we want to draw right and what what it is is um, you, 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 uh, uh, the buffer is like the place that you're going to draw on so we can call this the back buffer, right? This is the back buffer, and this can be like the main buffer, right? The one that's at the front, the one that you you're going to see, right? And uh, what happens is we draw on this one. We just keep drawing on that one, and then the CPU will um, get this. And as we're drawing on this one, it is take it. It is uh, drawing. Um, it is you know using this one and drawing this one to us so we can see it I'll just put an eye there so we can see it so so it's just kind of cool cool in the sense that um the the, the cpu the, the gpu doesn't have to wait for us to kind of if we had one buffer it doesn't have to wait for us to kind of draw in this one and then after we finish drawing it then it draws out to to the viewer right with the eye right so we draw in this one and then it gets transferred here and then while we're drawing in this one, the the GPU or the gr graphics card is, you know, drawing this to us, and it's kind of nice in that sense. And when we finish drawing, and uh, you know, it gets copied over, so it, it kind of reduces flicker, uh, and it increases the performance of our draw. So that's kind of the main thing we want to set up: double buffering. All right, so let's do that. Uh, I've got too many projects up, but uh, what we'll do is we'll double click into our project or you know double click there. And um, we want to set up our double buffering for our graphics inside the form load. Okay, we'll, we'll set that inside the form load there. All right, so, uh, so uh, I guess the first thing I should do is uh, just let's set some sizes. Let's, 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 give, let's give our, our project some sizes. Our form some sizes, All right? So we'll 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 go public shared. Now public means I want other objects in this project to see our display size, so we can use it in other objects. And I'll, uh, and this is going to be a new size, and we'll set the the size to say four hundred by four hundred for now. So we're going to set our 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 window to be this size at some point all right and um we'll need that for our buffers that's why i want to set this size up and what we'll then do is we want to create our 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 back buffer and then our displays right, our graphics for our uh, for our um drawings so first thing i want to do is i want to create a back buffer now i'm making this private because i don't want any other object to be able to play it you know access it or anything like that and keep it you know you gotta keep it safe so private is to keep things safe and when i write private i like to um use lowercase as a, the starting letter of my um you know of, you notice that when i go public I, I use a capital and you'll notice my naming convention here i i i, I this is pascal casing because i make the first letter of any kind of word capitals 
Whereas for this one, this is Pascal casing, oh, sorry, not Pascal, Camel casing. I make the first one small and then any other na name afterwards, buffer size A, it's like capital S there. That's not a buffer size. All right, so let's make, let's make a, so we're making our, our, we're setting up our double buffer basically. That's what we're trying to do here. So we've got our two graphics. All right, and we're going to draw on this one. We're going to draw on this one, and these are going to be our buffer. Uh, these are going to be our um, our displays graphics. All right, and uh, that's that's what we got there. Um, what else are we going to do? Um, we want to set a few other things up. So the main thing about this double buffering is we need to kind of over, we need to kind of take over. The, the form draw. So right now the form kind of has its own thing when it uh, it, it kind of does its own thing when it, it draws like and we don't really have control over what gets draw you know the find control over what gets drawn how fast we want things to draw and whether it's double buffering. So we need to override um, you know the the um, what's already there. So let's do that. So there's a few things I need to set up. Uh, I need to set up um, the form. So me is accessing this form one, right? Me, I'm going to set size, I uh, set style. We we'll need to set, we'll set a few styles that is uh, required. And the style that I'm going to be setting is, I'm going to set a few. All painting. So this is just, uh, you probably don't need to understand exactly what these are, and you can you know you can look it up in the um, in the uh, MSDN. This is uh, painting MSDN to see exactly what these things are. But as I said, this is mainly to set up our double buffering and to um, get a, a little bit more control over how or what we can draw how we can draw and what we can draw onto our you know our form which is going to be our canvas now um so this is where the double buffering is right we want to set that double buffering to true and we've got to uh, and these are our double buffers here so this is the kind of the main thing we want to set up and this is not by default this is not something that's def default for um, our Windows form and user paint is because I want to pretty much take over. It, the, it's it's the user basically, yeah, it's me the programmer. Um, uh, all right, uh, we'll 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 set that to false. And um, what else do we need? Uh, and let's set the me size me dot size. So we're, we're going to set everything to um, our display size and we're going to also set our client size to display size so is, there, is there any size that I I um, we've got we're going to set it to to that size um, now this is this is now the this one for me is um, kind of a personal preference I just like my borders to be uh, uh, fixed you don't have to put this in if you don't want to but it's kind of what I like. I just like that kind of style. And you can choose whatever style. There's plenty of styles. There's fixed 3D. I, want, I, want, I like fixed single just the way I like it. And um, this is something else I, I um, set for myself. I want um, I want the uh, I don't want the the user to be um, resizing my game because if the re the the, re the user resizes my game, it kind of stuffs up. And if I if I program it via um, you know true pixels locations, it kind of stuffs up the relative uh, positions of the game. So I don't want the user to do that. I want to set the, the, the player to do that. I want to set this myself. So so when we when we start this, we don't want this to be. We don't want uh, resizability. Okay, so it's true as well. And uh, me dot minimum size 
minimum size. Did you set that to false? I think that should be true. Let me just, I'll check that out later. Uh, in my reference here, I got false. I was just wondering what I was doing. I'll just look at the, and maximum size. So all of this code here is just to, so that the you the player can't resize. It's just this kind of style and prevent resizing. Prevent. All right. All right. So that's that. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll update the form. We'll do an update on the form. And that's pretty much uh, that. Now we need to set up our, we need to um, set up our graphics for our double buffer. So our back buffer, our back buffer is the actual image, back buffer, that will hook up, will link to our, um, will link it to the buffer display, which is going to be our, our back buffer, back graphic, back buffer graph, uh, what is it, buffer display? So this is our back buffer display basically, but I'll just write buffer display. So you'll see here we're using graphics start from image. We're going to grab it for, uh, from the image back buffer and back buffer is an image, All right? So we're going to be drawing on the back buffer. We're going to be drawing on this thing, All right? New. We draw on that, and then and then um, we're going to be drawing on that. And this is our think of it. Think of uh, what we're doing is we're giving drawing. This is from. We're giving our, we're giving the, we, we're allowing ourselves, this is like all the drawing tools, the graphics is like all the drawing tools, and we're going to be able to draw on this thing. So we're using this, we're, got, we're using this graphics to be able to draw on that, all right? For our graphics display, we don't need to draw on that. Basically, whatever's in our buffer, our back buffer, gets copied over to this one. But we do need to create graphics for it and, and grab the graphics from from the window system, all right? Okay, so this is our setting up our buffers. Buffers, all right, so that's that. And I'm, uh, and um, I guess we wanna try it out, sure, don't we? We want to kind of try it out. So we'll go, what we'll do is we'll go graphics display. So our main, we'll, we'll clear it with some color. Mm, slight gray, I like slight gray. Fill it with some kind of color, so we go. Um, and you'll notice that it errors out here. That's because it can't recognize color. So if you don't recognize it, just highlight it. You'll see kind of a yellow bulb here. Click on that and just have a look. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, slate gray, can't spell. So that's okay. So you can do, they, it helps you correct there. And what I'll do now is I'll actually use my graphics and draw something. Let me draw something. Let me do a fill. Yeah, you, yeah, fill. No, actually, let's just turn that off just to see what, 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 what shows up. And then we'll, we'll have a look. Now, what, now this is what it shows up, so it's kind of nothing. But if I was to put this one in, You got get that gray slate. You got you got kind of the gray slate going on, but uh, because of the I haven't done any updates on back buffer or anything like that, it kind of doesn't look very nice. What I'll do is it keeps the the window keeps loading on the, the other window. So what I'll do is I want to add a, a a little bit of code just to set the screen into the position that I want it. So what I'll do is I'll go screen dim screen uh, equals screen from point uh, cursor position. So uh, around about where the cursor position is. And then we'll go me.location. So me is the form, this, this actual form that you know you saw before. We'll set it to the bounds of, that bound location of wherever the mouse cursor kind of is. And then I wanna center it there. I wanna center it 
center it to screen so that it pops up right in the middle there. All right, let's just run that. There you go. And you can see 